Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at importing a, a 3D model that has been created elsewhere, let's say in Tinkercad or in Fusion 360 or something, uh, where you've downloaded the model and you're ready to have it brought into CoSpaces. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my library and uh, choose Upload. And you'll see here is one of our upload uh, possibilities is 3D models. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click on the Upload button. Uh, mine happens to be sitting on my desktop, so I'm just going to click on it like that. And when it's done uploading, you can say got it, and it'll appear in your list here. And so as you import more models, they'll just appear here along this, this uh, bottom panel. So now I can take the model itself. I could bring it into my CoSpace, uh, resize it possibly to a size that's appropriate for what I'm modeling. And then a couple things I can actually do with it here. So the one difference with uh, models that you bring into CoSpaces is that because they're a single file, you can't uh, you can only change their colors to a certain degree. So, for example, if I right-click this or double-click on this, I'll get that description panel. I can rename my if I want to rename my uh, model here, I can do that. Uh, I can choose the material. In this case, it's really sort of the color, and I might choose something like a gray and uh, close it and so that gives me a different look but i can't individually change colors of any components it's just going to be the color the whatever color you choose will be the entire color of the object okay so another thing you might want to add to something like this is to put a sign out in, in front of the the whatever you're exhibiting or whatever you're showing so in libraries under the building section you have different types of signs. And so I'm going to pull one out here, just a standard sign. If I double click on it or right click it, I get its properties. I can come into the text area of this sign and uh, I've already uh, copied some text that I wanted to paste in here, so I can just paste it in here. And notice that it gives us a limited amount of characters and so I, I haven't hit that limit yet, so this looks okay. I close it and what happens is it, it tries to fit it in, in this, in this case it you know, I think the font size was originally 38 or something like that. And so it shrunk it down just so that it would fit into the sign. And if I click here on the outside, I can go to the material and click uh, a couple things. I could put a actual material background, it looks kind of nice. Um, and then I might change the text itself to white to see if it'll show up a little bit better. Okay. And there you have a sign that you can then have on display for when people come to see your work. The other thing you might want to do is bring in images or uh, graphics that you've created somewhere or that may, maybe you found on a, a royalty-free site like, uh, like Pexels.com, for example. So let me just take you out there to do that. If I went to Pexels.com, and uh, this is a royalty-free photo site. I can do a search for something like the Acropolis and different pictures would show up from there. Um, and I, I searched one here a little earlier. I think it was this one that I liked. I downloaded it. And when you download a, a photo from uh, Pexels, it gives you some uh, information about who to give photo credit to. And so you can copy this uh, photo credit text here if you'd like. And then if I go to back to my CoSpaces, I can go to Upload. And this time I'm going to pick Images. I'm going to do Upload right there. And once the photo is available, I can also bring that out. And I can resize it just like any other object in the library. All right. And so I would want to give credit in this case for this photo. So I'm going to come back to my library buildings. I'm just going to bring out a small sign like that. Double click on it, include the text that I just copied. Oops, sorry, that's not the right text. And paste it in and close it. And so now I've got this text. We know who the photo is from. We've given credit to them for this and we are good to go.